Uh, good morning and once again welcome to our YouTube uh, channel PSOM uh, at Excel International Maths by Nitakamoto. And in this video, I want us we understand something very important in sequences, sum of an arithmetic sequence. In the previous video, I've tried to explain or introduce, but I'm going to do it comprehensively here. You know, when we talk about um, Sn, this means sum of the first n terms of the sequence for example s6 it means sum of the first six terms uh, of the of the sequence that is just like it uh, and the sum of an arithmetic sequence, the sum of an arithmetic sequence, the first of first n terms of an arithmetic sequence, is simply meaning term 1 plus term 2 plus term 3 plus all the way until term n. The sum of the first n terms. And I want to say here and now that the sum of the first n term in an arithmetic sequence is just given by n over 2. We saw in the previous video whereby we were dividing 30 by 2 to get 15. n over 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 close bracket d. You should not fear this formula. It's just a very, very straightforward formula that is going to be explained right away. So, but let everything escape your mind, but not this formula. Of course, uh, it's going to be explained in uh, example, example now 12, 13, and even 14. And in the same kind of a video, let us talk something about example example 12 on page 57 show that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 all the way you're supposed to show that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus blah 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 all the way uh, plus 99 plus 100 is given by is equals to 50 50 using the formula now uh, sometimes of course using the formula above what is the number of terms term one term two all the way to term 100 so n is equals to 100 what is the difference? 1, 2, of course 2 minus 1 is 1, 3 minus 2. So D is 1. <clears throat> and we have all that. So the sum of the sum of the first hundred terms is going to be given by n over 2, 100 over 2, multiplied by 2a. What is a? Our a is 1. You can see the first term. So 2a is 2 plus 100 n minus 1 100 uh, n is 100 100 minus 1 is 99 multiplied by the difference which is 1 and of course we have to apply this formula and get something like this 99 um, plus 2 which is equals to that of course times 50, 100 divided by 2 is 50 so times 50 is easily 50 50 this is 50 50 hence shown hence shown we have been able to show that using the formula but i want us to go to example 13 and um, understand something 
example 13 and of course understand something um, find um, find yeah 4 plus 7 plus 10 plus 13 plus all the way plus 151 the last term is 151 we have to note that a is 4 d is it's an arithmetic sequence so d is 3 because the difference is 3 and we have the nth term do we have the nth term the nth term is uh, or rather term n is equals to 151 we don't know the position of 151 because it, it is not um, a conspicuous it's not a conspicuous sequence that you can follow like the one we had before 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 all the way plus 100 because we could tell we have 100 terms here here it's not easy to tell how many terms you have but it, since we have the last term which is 151 we just have to assume 151 is occupying the nth term and we know the, the nth term is given by the formula a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d and that means our a is 4 4 plus n minus 1 which we still don't know multiplied by d which is 3 should give us 151 opening the brackets we should get 4 plus 3n minus 3 is equal to 151. And of course, 4 minus 3 is 1. So 1 plus 3n is equal to 151. And 3n is easily 151 minus 1, which is 150. Divide by 3, divide by 3. And you realize that n is 50. So we have the 50th term as 151 so the term of term 50 is 151 so the whole sequence has 50 terms somebody is asking us find this plus this plus this so we are supposed to find the sum of because they are added together the sum of the first 50 terms is given by 50 which is n divided by 2 uh, multiplied by 2a our a is 4 so 2a 8 plus n minus 1 plus uh, n minus 1 multiplied by d this is the formula n is 50 50 minus 1 is 49 49 times a 3 is going to be what we shall realize so let's see 49 times 3 to start with that is 147 plus 8 you get 155 times 25 you get 3875 you get this is going to be 3875 and that is exactly what you're supposed to show this is what you're supposed to achieve so again uh, follow me in my youtube channel and in the next video it's going to be a bit interesting because we are going to know how to derive the formula we have just been able to use right now we just know how to use it but we don't know how to derive the formula follow me and let's catch up with it all right